uh, a number of young male teachers employed in state nurseries in England has dropped to just one. Figures published by the General Teaching Council for England show Jamie Wilson, who works in Merseyside, is the only man aged under 25 that is teaching in a state-run nursery. There's a shortage of male teachers in nurseries and primaries across the UK. In Scotland, only 8% of primary teachers are male. In Wales, it's less than 16%, just under 16%. And Jamie Wilson, the only young male teacher in a state nursery in England, joins me now. Uh, good afternoon, Jamie. Mr Wilson, sorry. Good afternoon, how are you? But this is remarkable, isn't it? Put it in the context for us, though. Are you surprised you're the only one? Um, I think under the age range, I'm very surprised, to be honest, because, you know, we, we, we should be in a society where we are fighting for more and more males within, within the teaching profession, in particular the early years, the most fundamental foundation years of a, of a young person's life. And um, it's a shocking statistic and one that um, shocks me, really. And uh, it's one, certainly, that I'm trying to combat against. OK. But why, Jamie? Why just you? Um, that is the question, and it's certainly an answer that I don't have. I think that there's an awful lot of um, stigma attached to the role, unfortunately. In what way? Um, it's just the sense that, you know, it is very much a female-dominated environment, and I don't know whether it's, it's quite a, a scary environment to go into. I know certainly when I qualified as a newly qualified teacher, I was certainly very anxious, very apprehensive in going into this female-dominated environment. Mm -hmm. And it certainly takes a strong character. And, you know, I'm, I'm in no way perfect, but I've, I've grown as an individual. I've grown to, to love working in the early years. And, and everybody that surrounds me, you know, helps my job and creates the atmosphere that, you know, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity to, to enable young children to grow and to develop and to have that facilitation of that. It's, it's just a, it's an underpinning role in society, I feel. Mm. When, when you did apply for it, um, I mean, it t talk me through that. Did you feel a little intimidated? Uh, did, did, did you feel like you were the only male in the village, so to speak, and um, uh, were, were you vetted more than the female uh, applicants would have been? Uh, is it looked differently upon? With regards to uh, applying for the job, you mean? Yes. Um, I, I felt rather lucky, to be honest, in, in that um, during my first year of university um, teacher training, I did I completed a, a block placement, so to speak, at a, uh, a children's centre, and that's currently where I'm working now. Uh -huh. um, and I was very lucky in that when I did graduate, I was offered the job. Um, but I know if I was to apply for a job, I should certainly think that I wouldn't be vetted in any way. Um, I think that the best person should get the job, and it's, it's the best person that you know should get that job and, and fulfil the ambition and fulfill, should carry that motivation and that persistence to, to give those children the best start in life. Well, what makes it such a great job for you then, Jamie? For me, it's the reward. It's, it's, it's the laughter and the smiles and... Certainly for me, I work in, uh, unfortunately, quite a rather deprived area. And for me, going into that area and giving those young children within my care um, the time and the laughs and just the opportunity to speak freely and listen and just just to have those opportunities for me makes the job worthwhile. Yeah. It also does bring in the question, if you, if you, you look in England, you know, one uh, male teacher in, uh, employed in state nurseries in, in England in terms of there not being male role models in the classroom? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, You're it. I, <laughs> You're it in England. You're the it. male. You better be a very nice person, Jimmy. <laughs> I certainly try to be. I've, I've certainly been raised to be a nice person, that's that's for sure. Yeah. And, but unfortunately, that it's a very shocking statistic, and no matter how many times I read it or see it or somebody highlights it to me, you know, knowing that I'm the only person under the age of 25 to, to educate and to nurture mm. our, our young children is, is quite um, very shocking in fact.